The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I will be home for a couple of days. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a little bit different of a video today. We are actually kicking off the first Christmas video of this season. I recently went to Walmart and I seen that they had out all of their Christmas decorations and I got so excited so I went down all the aisles and I filmed what they have for Christmas 2020. They've got lots of new stuff, really cute styles. They've got a variety of different themes if you guys are into specific themes with your Christmas decor. Lots of good stuff and pretty decent prices as well. The first time I went, they had out all of the inside stuff. So I was able to film like the ornaments and stockings and wrapping paper and stuff like that. But then I went back about three or four days later and they finally put out all of the outside stuff as well. So all of their Christmas trees and all of that good stuff. So I had to film in two separate days. Now I'm still waiting for them to get a couple of sections out. I didn't see any garland and I really didn't see that many wreaths either so I think that Walmart is slowly starting to pull stuff out but I know it's early for Christmas videos but hear me out things that are good are going to get picked over really fast so if you see something in this video you might want to go ahead and try to grab it I know I'm already starting to think about my decor for Christmas I pulled out the totes kind of got an idea of what I already have what I'm going to be using and what I'm going to donate and sell that I'm not going to be using Thing. That way I can get a few new items for this year and I'm so excited for all of the Christmas content. I know I have a fall shirt on and I'm still in fall mode but I am also thinking in the back of my mind about Christmas and I'm really excited about it. So hopefully you guys are too. Make sure to like this video if you are excited for all of the Christmas videos to come and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on a single video. Some things that are happening here on my channel. I'm doing lots of decluttering. We're doing lots of organization before Christmas and the holidays are here. That way we have a fresh clean start and we're not so overwhelmed after Christmas, the beginning of the year, because that's usually whenever I do a lot of cleaning house and deep cleaning, decluttering, but I thought, you know what? Our house needs it now. So we're gonna go ahead and just start doing room by room and organizing. So check out those videos and my organizational playlist down below. I'm also doing lots of fall day in the lives here. So all kinds of fun things. So if you guys are still in fall mode, I've got lots of fall decorate with me videos as well. So anywho, let's go ahead into Walmart and get to shopping. We're starting out with the gift wrapping sections and oh my goodness, they had so many cute different options. They had some rustic options, some glam. They had everything from bags to boxes, wrapping paper, you name it, they've got it. So this is a great place to get all of your wrapping necessities, even down to boxes and bows. This is typically where I will get a few rolls of wrapping paper. I didn't buy any today because I'm not even sure what I'm going to be buying for Christmas yet. I probably should start thinking about it, but let me know, have you bought your first Christmas present yet or are you waiting like I am? Not really sure what I'm waiting for though. I need to get on it. They also had lots of cute wooden bead options that you could do some DIYs with. They also had lots of different stands. I thought this buffalo check one was really neat and it also came in different patterns. This one was really pretty as well and I like that this would be easy to store. I thought this section looked very farmhouse with the pinstripes and buffalo check and the grain sack looking stockings. Very cute stuff. They had lots of stockings and tree skirts and really just everything you could need, but they had all kinds of different styles. 
Now we're moving on to all of the ornaments. They had two full aisles full of different ornaments. I loved these white ones with the black writing. However, I think I'm going to try to make some on my own using salt dough. I think they would be a really fun DIY. How lucky can this so hard be? I thought this embroidery hoop looking truck ornament was really pretty. Definitely modern farmhousey, and the letters to Santa was also really cute too. Honestly, all of them were very cute and very affordable at $1.98. Now we're moving into some of the houses and villages. These are all either wood or paper, so they are really lightweight. You could do so much with them, and I think they're a great way to put it into your Christmas decor. So now we're moving into some of the bigger items. They had that really cute cutting board. They also had lots of different styles. So here is kind of a farmhouse style. They had signs, cutouts, trees, garland. I thought this felt ball garland was really pretty only seven dollars and 98 cents and like i said they had tons of signs all for around ten dollars or less and the stars up above I love this farm fresh Christmas tree sign and also these wooden bead garlands with a cute tags on them. Super cute. And then you guys know how much I love my scrolls. They had two different kinds. One was $4.98 and the other one was $7.98. So really fun. And then those little houses at the bottom were also so cute. Lots of wood cutouts. And then this is the farmhouse section. I loved all of these options. They had so many signs and also reindeer and I loved these tin metal buckets down in the bottom with the leather straps come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come. moving into their more modern farmhouse section they had lots of white and black buffalo check Tons of trees and potted arrangements. They also had some really cute neutral decor as well. So lots of knitted tree skirts and stockings and pillows and lots of really pretty trees. I also thought this little flock tree was so pretty in this woven basket and they had so many cute decorations for mini trees. I thought these sweater tree skirts were so cute and all of these little ornaments and you got a couple of them for $2. Such a good deal. I kind of liked these better than some of the bigger ornaments actually. And you could also use these for tags or gift wrapping or really anything. but. But so cute look at those mini tree stands I mean come on now we're heading outside and going to take a look at all of the trees they had tons of flocked tree options that is what I am drawn to anymore I think they are so beautiful and realistic they also had all of their holiday wrapping paper for kids I really wanted to pick up some of this Grinch wrapping paper but I held off I probably am gonna go back and get more but they had really pretty seven foot flock trees that were pre-lit for under $200 and I I thought that was a steal. They also had a lot of gnomes and little gnome trees that were so cute. All different kinds of options for outdoor decorations as well. If you like blow ups and you have kids or stuff, they had all kinds of that kind of decorations too. I've never done any of these in the past, but I know Brooks would love them. Word of the Father. Now in flesh appearing. They also had tons of doormats. Some of these were huge too, so it would definitely take up a big space. Or if you have a double door, they would be good options as well, but lots of cute ones. And then they also had a lot of stand up snowmen and different mailboxes. These would be cute by a front door.
Also, all of the mini trees, I love getting these. For $5, you can put them in bathrooms, kitchens, smaller areas. And then these little lights were so neat, and I've seen them at Hobby Lobby and now Walmart. They're little shadow lights, and they're so cute. So, so fun to put in a kid's room. And here are some of the other options of tree skirts that they had. I loved that copper option as well on the bottom, but this wicker one just had me sold. So it was going home with me. I've told lies. I can only. And here is a couple more outside light options. I think the gnome is so stinking cute. It would be so cute by a front door. I also love this letters to Santa mailbox. I feel like that is so cute. And those were so popular last year. So that's a great deal. They also had some picks. These would be great for fireplace mantles or wreaths or any kind of DIY that you're planning. Brooks loves the Grinch, so he would have just died over that giant Grinch. <laughs> but how fun is that? Definitely not paying $100 for it though. Last but not least, I wanted to show all of the cozy Sherpa blankets and all of the holiday bedding that they have out if you want to be a little bit extra and make your bedrooms really cozy as well. They say Santa ain't coming around. All right, guys, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that Walmart has. So many good things, but I did have my eye on one thing. I'm trying to be a little bit more minimal with my Christmas decor this year. And last year, I was trying to figure out a different tree skirt situation for the tree in our living room. I love the box look, like the wooden box. I'll put a picture up so you guys know what I'm talking about, but I love that look. I thought about having Taylor make me something like that. That. I figured I would look for one that I really loved and I seen the wicker basket tree skirt at Walmart I was so in love with it so I actually picked it up here's what it looks like so you guys can see it in real life I love decorating with baskets and different textures I thought this would be so pretty for around the Christmas tree in our living room so very excited about this and it was only $19.98. So that is such a steal. I probably couldn't even have made one for this cheap. So very excited about this. And that is actually all that I bought from Walmart. I loved a lot of it, but I usually try to get bigger items there like little trees, wreaths, garland, things that I can add to stuff with, but they're usually pretty affordable. So the only thing I'm really looking for this year is garland and maybe some more ornaments and tree stuff. So I'll probably go back and pick up a few of those, but for now, I just went with the one thing that I loved and that is this tree skirt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little Christmas shop with me video. If you guys have any other stores that you want me to film shopping at as well. I can definitely do that. I'll do my usual rounds of Christmas shop with me like I normally do. Hobby Lobby will probably be next and I am so excited for it. So let me know if you guys like this video. If you guys are excited for Christmas, make sure you stick around and let me know if you are new in the comments so I can say hello and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.